Hello fellow Elemental Hero fans and Yugi tubers, it's time for Elemental Hero f Friday week or Heroes Friday week, whichever way you want to call it, I'm still judging on the name. This is episode 10. Ah, uh, I'm, I'm sure as much as you're all aware, uh, uh, you all want to check out my Turbo Sparkman deck. And I was gonna go for Baltic or Magma Neos, but I figured since I've had some people ask about it, I'll go ahead and do, with, do this deck video. But besides letting you all know the updates on my here, uh, Neos deck, since the format, uh, this will probably be the last deck video for a while until I can figure out a new deck idea. But anyways, on to the build. I run one Sparkman. I can uh, easily send him to the graveyard with God, God, Future Fusion and God Neos. So if I got a Blade Engine in my hand, I could automatically use his effect to drop it. One Wild Heart. Two Voltic. Wild Heart protects from traps. Voltic brings back heroes that were removed from play. Back to the field. Stratos searches out my heroes and blows up spell and trap cards. Two. Oceans lets me bring back a hero from my grave back to my hand. Always useful, and he's absolute zero fodder. Uh, two blade edges. One's really one's used for Wrath of Neos. And, I mean, not Wrath of Neos, but uh, Divine Neos. And the other one is used for Necroshade's effect. Then the reason why it's called a Sparkman Turbo: three Sparkmans, one secret, and two Kamehameha ones. Anybody's got two more of the secrets, let me know. I'm looking for all the Elemental Heroes secrets out there. Uh, two prisms, one original, one dual terminal. Uh, lets me re reveal a fusion to my opponent and send a material to it to the graveyard. Real easy to get a fusion out that way. Hurt my finger. Uh, three alias. This is what I use. It's a 19 beat stick. It counts as Neos. But it's also got Neos in its name. So, it's uh, fusion fodder for Devon Neos. One Neos Spationaire Hummingbird. He's really just used for Devon Neos unless, it <coughs> unless I need him for something else, like my life points are low or something. And then Grandma. I don't really use him for Devon Neos unless I have to. Uh, then three King of Swamps. Searches out Polly, lets me use use as a fusion substitute for certain heroes, and then one honest. Since most of the stuff in this deck is like spell cards, I run one dark hole, one true name, one pot, one reborn. I want to thank uh, Spitterwebs One for bringing me into using fusion recovery again. Uh, I hadn't used it since back when the heroes first started. And he brought it up once while we were talking on the phone, and I play tested in here, and it's really saved my ass in a lot of duels. If you got him as a friend, you can talk to him. We've dueled before, and he he can tell you how many times that fusion recovery has actually helped me. To our righteous justice for back destruction. To e calls for hero searching. Future fusion. Three miracle fusions. Three polys and my favorite fusion spell, Super Polymerization times two. I love this card because Lag can't negate it, and it let now that Shining is out. If I run across the Lad, I can uh, use Super Poly to bring out Shining by offering their Lad. Uh, I don't know what I want to take out right now, but uh, if anybody's got a Treacherous Trap Hole for Trey, let me know because I want to put this into the deck. That tre treacherous trap hole is a very useful trap card, and I didn't think about it till my friend to told me about it. So I want to put a treacherous trap hole in here, but I don't have one. So if anybody's got one for trade, let me know. Now on to the extra deck. Plasma vice, uh, 26 piercing, uh, level seven elemental hero made from blade edge and spark man and he also can destroy by discarding one card from my hand one attack position monster at my opponent controls which is always useful uh... three shinings you already know why there's paper in front of them i just did this because i like them better than the actual shining but they are right behind it 
and for you naysayers, there you go. It's right there. Just like on the last video. Two God Neos. I like the anime picture better. Two Shining Flare Wingmen. I originally also had Phoenix Enforcer in here, but to make room for the God Neos, I had to get rid of the uh, the Phoenix Enforcer, so I just kept the Shining Flare. I thought they were better. Two Absolute Zeros. One Thunder Giant. I might take that out and put a Phoenix Enforcer back in. Two Elemental Hero Guys. And one Dark Bright. Uh, one of my favorite combos is uh, pretty much just Future Fusion. Activate it. Call God Neos. Send five to the gr five to the grave. Giant Tree Nade. Bring it back. Play it again. Send five more. And then uh, I'll usually have and I usually have a Spark Man and a King of Swamp. And then I play uh, and a Palmer Action too. And then bam. That's uh, that's eight times three hundred, so that's twenty-seven to the twenty-five, so that ma makes it forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, fifty, fifty-one, fifty-two, fifty-one or fifty-two attack. I can't remember which, but that that's one of my favorite combos because once they've taken that much damage, they either give up or it doesn't take me that much longer to beat them. <sighs> And then I always love having playing Baltic when I've been using Shining to be uh been abusing Miracle Fusion. I really can't wait till Flash comes out because that's really going to help decks these decks out. Uh, that's it for the deck video. Uh, write, comment, subscribe. Tell me what you think and comment below on how to how you think this could get improved and. What you think I should do for next week's Friday Hero Week? And this is Hero Duo the Comedian signing out, and I promise I will have my uh, Stardust Assault Mode deck up tomorrow, since I didn't do it Saturday, and I'm sorry about that. Adios, everybody.